Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and it's day three. So on the third day of Christmas my true love gave to me. <coughs> yes, I've been watching my Christmas movies. Uh-huh. <laughs> Holiday Baking Championship 2, Christmas Cookie Challenge, all of that. So I'm in the mood for singing and Christmas caroling. Oh. Oh, this is a nice edging die. Look at that. Let's take a look at day three. Ooh. Let me see. I think it goes that way. So it's an edging die. See how right there? You can either drop this in. And it would just cut out the image there on a piece of paper. So in my example, you'll see how it works. And then here, if you want to create an edge, love that. This is four and a quarter of an inch tall by, let's say, half an inch. So this is a great accent. Ooh, I could use this on my tag die. Look at that. Super duper cute. Love. Day three. All righty, let's look at my example. Let's get started. So here is my example. This is a top folding note card with a cute little gnome. Now let's talk about how this die works. When you use this die, which is four and a quarter inch wide, it cuts out completely. Here I did white glitter cardstock, and then I at first was gonna do red. So it would be like this, okay? That's kind of cute too, look at that. Tone on tone. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I wanted to fill in the little dots that were created. So I went into Spellbinder's brush silver cardstock. Those are for the small dots. And then for the large one, I did this turquoise glitter cardstock. And that's for the bigger dots. Then after I had made this, I used the edge. The edger now, what you do is when you have your cardstock laid out, you put it like this and then run it through the machine. I only ran this little section because I didn't want it. I didn't want in here to be crushed. So don't run the full thing. You can just run that little area and then, you know, back it out just to get that cut line. And then this just layers easily on top. I used some Sizzix adhesive sheets. There it is. So I can use this one again. I could have gone like so. The adhesive, that's kind of cute too. Look how that looks like a ribbon almost. That is cool. The Sizzix adhesive sheets will hold these pieces in. And then I pop those out to do that layering. Now this little guy, not new, but I received my sample late. And this one is Nomi Christmas Dance Die Cut Set. You get loads and loads and loads of die cuts. And you get the gnome where you could have his leg swinging. Let me show you. So there's many choices. I'll put the amount of die cuts that you get in it because it's a lot. But funny enough, even though it's in this little package that I put it in, they're not crushing. Thank goodness. You get his like top half, the torso, and you could also put a little circular glue dot and have his legs swing like I dance, or you could just have him standing here. This time I took the torso here in that turquoise color and I have him stuck behind the square postal edge shaped die. Love, and I created that frame, like a whole scene without it being a shaker. I have all my postage edge dies in my scrapbook.com storage envelopes. You guys know I love these things. I will put a link for everything below. Here, that's the square that I used right there. And I did the drop in right there, these two, to create this frame, okay? Then I tucked him in, and then I went further. <laughs> Just playing. You get a whole bunch of trees, tall trees, short trees. And these are reminiscent of dyes too. There is a eye dance with the gnome, Okay, crafter, so I went and I found the dies that have influenced this awesome Nomi Christmas dance die set. Here is the dancing gnome, super duper cute. It is based off of this. The sizing seems to be close too. So if you're in a pinch, you don't have time to, you know, do all these pieces. Now this comes in this awesome set here, ready to go. That's what I used here. The trees, that's this set, bottle brush tree dies. Love, 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 love. I haven't even played with this one yet. This is new in package. <laughs> I know, time. But I do love the eye dance. So now that I see this guy, I'm like, oh, yeah. On the tree and on his hat, this is an assortment of those glitter drops. Ooh, ooh. So there's a glitter here. It's Christmas. And then you do get sentiments, too, with the flag. This on the outside, that's the larger square. I tell you. 
This dot detail on this postage edge stamp is like having another set of nesting dies along with the postage edge. They work so well together. You see it? And then what I did, I just put it at different angles just to make it more fun, whimsical, cute, 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 cute. And this awesome little die set right here. It adds great detail. Cute small die, but boy, does it pack a punch. And tell me if you don't love this. I'm loving this. I'm like, I didn't do it like this, but I'm like, oh. That looks like fabric. I love that. Let me bring it up close to you guys so you guys can see how good it is. <laughs> Glad I still have this piece because I can use it. These could fit in here too, along with the Spellbinders gems as well. Options, folks. And this cardstock in the background, that's from Spellbinder 6x6 paper pack, the Santa Lane, just to get that little sky. I was going to ink blend, but then I thought, with everything going on, even though it has gold foil, I think it's still subtle in the background. You know what I mean? Instead of me doing ink blending and then it starts to compete with the glitter frame. Yeah, Christmas fun. And one more thing. So it's like a shaker in that this edge is popped up with one eighth of an inch foam tape. I will put a link below for that because not everybody sells that size. One eighth of an inch is lining this. So at the bottom of it is the paper. Stuck to it is the tree. Popped up is the gnome. Yeah, I know. I was going for it. I was going for dimension within dimension and all of that type of stuff. <laughs> so I could have put acetate, had sprinkles, and then he would be on the front and the top. I could have done it that way too, but I like that this offers height and fun and whimsy. Alrighty, until the next video. Day four. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.